Hi, hello everyone, and welcome back to Niche. I've just been listening to the background music. It sounds so magical. It sounds so cute. Sorry. I've just been listening to the background music, which is so cute. Um, I really like it. It's like, a, it's like a really hard island. Yeah, it's like, oh, look at this magical music. <laughs> this relaxing, relaxing music. Um, but I thought it was really cute, cute, like I've never heard it sound like that before, so I was like, really intrigued. That's so fun. Um, anyways, we're still trying to make- oh, they're getting cold, uh oh. We're still trying to make our way over to the ice thingy over there, so let's get- these guys are warm. Tara's cold, no! She's gonna get really cold soon. Um, these guys over here also need to make their way over to the rest of the family. But if they're gonna get a bit cold, I'm kind of worried. Eee. If I stay here, they're still gonna be cold. Oh no. I might have to get these guys to like huddle up together. Everyone get in a little bunch. Okay, um. I just, oh my gosh, sorry, I've just been. The music. <laughs> It's so cool. I really like listening to the music. It's like a majestic version of the actual like original niche, niche music. It's so cute. I like it. Okay, you jump in there, then you can warm up. And Blossom can join in. There you go. Then hopefully that should keep all of them mostly warm. Let's go the next day. No one's frozen, everyone's good. That's that's good. That's good. Okay. Alright, we're there. Let's have a look. Another another winged one? Are you kidding me? They look like they could be mother and- or like siblings. <gasps> Maybe they are siblings. Oh my gosh, they look like they could be siblings. He, She's got water body in her active genes. He's got it in an active- okay, they are siblings. They have to be. That's now my new thing. <laughs> they, are, they are siblings that came here long, long ago, but they got cold and froze. That's so cute. Okay, everyone else, let's get you guys to run. You guys need to go catch up with your friends, catch up with your family. And Aloe, come over here, warm you up. There you go. That should keep them warm. Let's get everyone else. Let's, last one. Are you kidding me? <laughs> That's like another brother for them. Another brother for this weird little family. These little, um, platypus beak to family. Dang it, are you kidding me? Oh, I'm, I guess we just go this, this way then. Everyone head this way then. Um, I just realized, I think we're gonna have to have the next generation here. I was just about to say, we can just go to the strip the next island, but We've only got 10 spaces here. At the moment we have 18 creatures. We're, we brought 15 creatures with us. I'm not taking the I'm not taking the ice creatures with us. Do I maybe leave some behind? Do I take them all? Do I breed them here now? Maybe I could breed them here now. I think I'll breed them here. And then I won't worry about them passing away. I won't worry about them getting old enough to pass away. I'll just like have a ton of babies. And then see which ones we want to take to the next island. So, everyone huddle up, become snuggly. There you go. And hopefully they won't freeze. Okay, you guys go over to Jasmine because she might freeze if she's over there by herself. There you go. Let's go the next day. <gasps> Wait, did somebody freeze? No, Tara. Tara froze. Tara froze. Oh, hang on, I want to. I want one more up. One more up. There you go. Um. Oh no, and he's getting cold too. Okay, guys, you guys need to be like our little warmers. You stay here and warm these guys up. Um, the winged creatures won't be an issue. It's the fact that I've got 12 non-winged creatures. Do I just go, right, scrap some of them and just go to the ne next island? They are getting quite old. Um, ah, this is so hard. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Do I take these guys? No, I think I'm gonna get them to have babies here because they do only have a few days left. 
and they have to stay quite close together so they're not really moving that fast. Oh, they have to stay with Lupin. We can't let Lupin freeze. Let's pack them all together. Um, yeah, I think that's what I'll do. I think I'll get them to breed, like, now. Because who's the oldest? I'm sure Blossom's not the oldest of these guys. Max is, I think. No? No, they're not doing in age order like they used to. So Citrus might be the oldest. Because she's only got seven days left. Oh my goodness. <laughs> This is going to be such a pain. Okay, so do I just go like all out and just breed a ton of them? Because there's not much food on this island. So if I just like go all out and just have a million babies at once. I don't know. Right, Citrus. Let's see. She can breed with Ren and Riley. Where is Ren? Ren and Riley over here. There's Ren. Where's Riley? Is that Riley? There you go. They all look so pale here. It's really hard to recognize who's who. Right, Ren. Um, I'm going to get him to come over here and Citrus can then breed with him. I should have put something in the mutation menus but I didn't so I'm going to make a bunch of nests along here I think. That's what I'll do. Blossom can breed with Ren, Riley, Dante, Sage and Max so she can breed the most I think. She's the one that can breed with like every single male. Um, so who's the oldest male actually? Riley I think might be one of the oldest. Riley and Dante are the same age. I might have to go over and breed with Riley because I think he was one of the ones I wanted to breed with. So if I... do they need anything else in their genes? I don't think so. Right I'm just going to breed them guys. Bring Blossom over. Um. Peach can read with Lupin and Max, and that's it. And I think Lupin and Max are the same age, so I might go to Max first, because no one's been breeding with Max. Poor Max. Right, breed them two together, and then I'm going to bring Peach to the front. She'll have the baby next time. Lavender's next. Lavender can breed with Lupin, Ren, Dante, and Max. I think Ren is the youngest, so I feel like I should leave Ren. Yeah, Ren is definitely the youngest, so I'll leave him to last for breeding next time. Um, so Lavender... Might go with Riley again. There you go, Riley, and then we've got Jasmine! Who is just Sage, Lupin and Max. So again, I think I might get her to go to Max first. There you go. Who knows, maybe I'll, just, maybe I'll have a baby with each pairing, which is a lot of babies. But if we're going to have them all at once, then it's fine. Um, Tara, I might get to have a baby with Zane now. She doesn't have any hammer tail and he doesn't either. So if I put those in their genes... Like that. Um, Zuri's over here and she might freeze as well, so I might get her to come over there and join the little, like cuddle so they're not all freezing shuffle around a bit make sure they're all warm and I might get them both to just go boop and boop there you go now they're both pregnant I'm gonna scoot Tara out of the way uh, and then Citrus is the only one left so we're gonna have two babies two babies let's go next day let's see oh Oh my goodness, you look like Max. Are you Max's kid? You're not, are you? No, you're Ren's kid. That's so weird. Cute, though. And then, oh gosh, they're so much brighter on the, like, over here. And then we've got a little pure white baby who is Max's baby, which is so weird. So weird. Okay, um... Do I have a baby with every single... Ah. Uh, <laughs> every single combination? I think I might do that. <laughs> Um, I think there should be about 20 babies if we do that, which isn't too much. What's this? <gasps> Heat body! Oh my gosh, that's so cool! Yay! Another gene we've unlocked. Perfect. Um, 20 babies from the non-winged creatures. The actual, like, winged creatures will, like, will have a few themselves, but not a ton. <laughs> okay, as long as they can, like, have babies that can breed with each other, that's fine. So let's get these females over because, um, they're not the youngest either. Okay, why don't you like start leading the way so they can move quite far. There you go, lead the way guys. I 
I think one of them was getting cold. I think it was this one was getting quite cold. So I'll put his his brother. I know they're not like technically, but his brother next to them. And they can all make their way over to the rest of the family. Yay, they've made it back to the main bit. So if I bring these guys over here, they can have their babies next round. Um, I'll give these guys a nest each. They can go straight into their nests. Um, so that means that Citrus has now had a baby with... Um, who's your baby's dad? Ren. And I think I said before that Ren might have more babies with his mates anyway. Because he can breed with one, two, three, four... He can only breed with four, and he's got the G gene, which isn't very common, so I might breed him a bit more than the rest. He's already had a baby with the G gene, though, which is perfect, but if we can get more, that'd be kind of cool. Um, let's see. And who's yours, Jasmine? You've got one with Max, haven't you? So that's them two together, which is cool. Uh, so I think I also said about breeding Lupin a bit more. Because he also has four mates. Does he have a gene that nobody else has? Or was I just like liking him? He's got the eye gene, which isn't very common. But Blossom also has that. So I don't know. I think, yeah, I don't know. Um, let's keep going though. So who do we have to breed with? Okay, Lavender's pregnant. So I'll bring her over. And she can also have a baby in the nest. Um, we've also got, oh, Alo, I haven't bred you yet. She can be with Lupin, Dante, and Max. So I think I might go for Dante, because poor Dante hasn't had any babies yet. And that's not fair. Poor Dante. You can breed together and then come over here. I guess make a nest there. Lavender can make a nest here. <laughs> and then Jasmine can go and have a baby with uh, Sage, I think. Oh, wait, that's not Sage. That's Sage. Go to Sage quick, he's gonna get really cold, he's gonna freeze. And they can breed. And then I'll put her here, because he's gonna get cold. And I'll put Max there as well. And they can all huddle together for warmth. Dante can join in. Lupin can come over. All the males are like in the back, like, ooh. Waiting to have babies together. Why don't you guys start digging some stuff? There you go. Are there any more things to dig? No. Um... What else have you got? Blossom! She's pregnant, never mind. Um, Citrus can now have a baby with Riley, I think. Where's Riley? He's over there. Let's breed them too, and then she can come back and have a baby next time. Peach is waiting. I think everyone else is just waiting to have babies, really. Are there any more diggy spots that the males can go and do? Because there's nothing else really to do. There's no food anywhere. I guess all the males could go and look for some food. But yeah, everyone else is just waiting for babies. So let's go to the next day. <gasps> so many babies. Oh, bird. Cool. That could be good to try and catch. Okay. Maybe I'll bring them a bit away from the edge. <laughs> oh my goodness. Cute. Okay, so we've had a ton of babies. Let's have a look. We've got one with Max and Peach. Uh, oh my goodness. I don't even know where to start. One with Max and Peach. One with Ello and Dante. <gasps> Lavender and Riley's kid looks so cool. That is awesome. I really like that one. They weren't even- I just- they weren't even supposed to breed. I think I thought he was- did I think he was someone else or did I just get confused? Whoopsie. Well, he was a perfectly cool baby, so it was lucky that he, you know, was fine. Um, and then Riley and Blossom's kid is cool too. Oh, look at that. Look at the stripes. Oh, that's so cool. So Riley and Blossom had a really cool kid too. Nice. That's all the ones. And then... Um, okay, let's see. What do we do now? Let's get this baby out the way. Jasmine and Citrus can jump in the nests where they were before. Let's just move them around. They're not... There we go. Let's just shuffle them around so they're not just waiting for their turn. Um, Lavender, this time we can actually have a baby with somebody you're supposed to have a baby with, which can be Max. Where's Max? He's here. Let's breed them to... Oh no, Max is quite young. 
Dante's older than him. I might get um, had to have one with Dante instead. So if I go like that, then like that, they can read together. And then maybe she can wait for a day to have a baby. Or she could just make a nest now, <laughs> like that. We've got, okay, we had enough nesting material, now we don't. <laughs> um, there is a bird, which I would love to catch. So if I can, yeah. Yeah, nice one, Zane. Okay, cool. Then I can get my other two females in. I guess not having baby yet, because no nesting material. If I could get one of the males over here. One of the ones that are quite fast. Max is quite quite fast, but he's only got two moves. If I can get one of them over here, I can get them to collect nesting material from over this way. Like that. And you guys can keep them warm, because I don't want them to be really cold. Keep them warm, make sure they don't freeze. Scoot around a little bit. There you go. Um... It's really hard when it's so cold. Does this count as like the coldness? Do we are we gonna get um Oh we got a heat body, I guess that makes sense. So one time in cold climate is fifty days. Anything else about a climate? Okay, a hot climate, we gotta stay in for at least eleven days. I think this next one will be a hot climate, so hopefully we can get some stuff there. Okay, Sage, scoot around. Just everyone have a little scoot around. Oh, there's a thing over here. Yes, a diggy spot. Yes, a diggy spot. <laughs> Everyone's just going to get obsessed with that until they can get... Okay, Blossom. Why don't you go for Dante as well? Like that, and then come back to the middle. Aloe, you can breed with Max, who's gone. And Lupin or Ren. Why don't you go for Lupin? And then Peach can also go for Lupin. There you go, and she can wait around for a bit. And that's everyone, okay. I'm gonna have so many babies to name next time. Okay, next day, let's see. Woohoo! Okay, who have we had now? Ooh, cute! <gasps> Citrus and Riley have had a baby, which is really cute. I'm liking that one. Who else has had a baby? Oh my goodness, look at this one. That's Dante and Lavender, they've had a baby. And who is this one? You are Jasmine and Sage's child. And is that everyone that was born today? That was indeed everyone that was born today, okay, good. Okay, what I'm gonna do is get Riley over here to grab that one. And he has... No more babies. He doesn't need to have any more babies, so he can do whatever he wants. He doesn't have to stay near the, over there, so that's cool. Oh, they could also bring him over here. That could be kind of cool. Bring him over there. Okay, it's snowing. Oh my gosh. Max could also go over there. He does have... He could have three more babies if he wanted to. <laughs> but it's not necessary. Okay, I need to start getting the winged creatures to have babies, so I'm going to scoot some of them out of the nest so that they get winged babies one uh, winged ones can have some babies where's the other one where's the other winged one there you go that tara can come over jump in that one some of the other babies can just top out so i'll get aloe to jump in this one here and blossom jump in that one there any more babies to move up the nest no okay then we've got peach who can breed with lupin oh she's already pregnant never mind <laughs> we've got who else can breed? Okay, Jasmine can breed with Lupin. Is that not? No. So Jasmine can breed with Lupin now. So if she comes over and breeds with him, that'd be cool. And then Lavender can come over and breed with Lupin run on Max. So I guess I'll go with Lupin again. <laughs> Citrus can only breed with Ren now. So let's go back for Ren. Definitely want a few Wren babies, for sure. Okay, and the little ones can just move around. Why don't you go for a little adventure, guys, together? <laughs> oh, some diggy spots, yes. Get them diggy spots. Is 
then everyone just like make sure you're all nice and warm. I don't want everyone to freeze. And Zane, all these winged creatures. <gasps> There's a rogue male. Okay. Um. Okay, I've got to keep an eye out for that rogue male. Oh, I've got to keep an eye out for Zane as well. I don't want him to freeze either. Okay, everyone. Have a little scoot around. Okay. I guess I'll leave this one here. And then have the rest of the babies next time. And then hopefully we can leave the island. Which would be really cool. I really want to leave as soon as possible, really. <laughs> I don't really want to be here for that much longer. So if we stay here long enough to... I don't even think we need to live, stay here long enough to unlock the big body. Because we're going to be coming back to the coal islands to unlock the rest of them. So don't worry about... I'm not going to worry about staying so long. Um, I think I'm just going to worry... I'm just going to have as many babies as we really can right now. Which should hopefully not be very many days really. I think we should probably be gone in like six days. <laughs> Whenever the first creatures start passing away. Um, but yeah. I will end this one here. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.